What's going on, YouTube? I'm that clone guy, E, and this is Sit Put Sense. So, guys, I was invited to a John Barbados event, and it was absolutely awesome, and I had an amazing time, and I just want to thank that amazing person who made me their plus one. You're the best. You're really the best. So it was John Barbados' birthday and they did this event at Missions where they launched his new fragrance. And it was a collaboration between him and Nick Jonas of the Jonas Brothers. Bye bye. Revlon pulled off the event beautifully and it worked out really, really well. The drinks were awesome. The event was awesome. The music was good. It could have been a little better, but the music was really good. The launch was really, really cool. And as I was leaving, I got one of these. And guess what was in it? The fragrance of the evening. That's right. So as you can see, guys, this is called JVNJ, John Barbados by Nick Jonas. Very smart marketing. You didn't really need a name. You're Nick Jonas, you're John Barbados. Just go with that. <laughs> I would have done the same thing if I were one or the other, right? So anyway, that was really cool. Um, it's a 4.2 ounce bottle. We're about to open this because I actually smelled it on a piece of paper, but I did not put this on my skin. So I'm about to do that for the first time here on camera. Got to throw even higher because of this tower chair behind me. It is what it is. Com what does this box communicate to you guys? Hmm? Because the presentation really does communicate the fragrance in terms of what I smelled on the blotter. So when I look at this box, I'm thinking nighttime. I'm thinking this is gonna be a night out fragrance. The fact that Nick Jonas is associated with this fragrance gives me the impression that this is gonna be a little bit more playful. Bye bye. or less serious than previous John Barbados fragrances, you know? But being that it is a John Barbados fragrance, I'm expecting it to be a masculine, well done scent because Barbados, he just knows what he's doing when it comes to well done masculine scents, you know? The issue that a lot of people do have is mostly a community issue, a fragrance community issue. A lot of people would love that his fragrances would last a little longer. But you cannot knock the fact that most of his fragrances are well done and they smell really, really good. I feel like he's one of the more underrated designer brands out there. I'm really curious to see what this will smell like on my skin. And guys, as you know, in my first impressions videos, if I'm into a fragrance, it's going to get that lady. Let's go. And if I'm not really into a fragrance, it's gonna get that womp womp, which goes a little something like this. Hit it. This is the bottle. And I'm a fan of how this bottle looks. It's really, really interesting. It's a gradient. It goes from dark to light blue. But as it goes to the lighter blue, there's stars going on in the background. It's like a really interesting little that's really cool. I like the bottle. Basically, definitely communicates, as I said earlier, it definitely communicates night. <laughs> night out. And uh, that's what this fragrance gave me when I smelled it. It just made me think, like, this would make a really great night out option. You can't see through it either, which is also interesting. Anyway, here's the bottle. Here's the box. There was the box. So this is getting on this skin. Let's go. JV by NJ. I love this. The sprayer is really nice. That's really cool. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. When I take a really deep breath, I smell cologne. I like the synthetic note cologne. I'm also getting like a lot of spice and a lot of herbal type of woody stuff going on also. It's for sure masculine. 
but there is a playful side to this scent. Typically, Barbados doesn't do playful. You know, he does rugged, he does manly, he does, you know, he does casual, but it's not a playful casual. His fragrances seem to match him and his style and aesthetic. But this fragrance is something that I could have worn tonight. Like, I could have worn this to be a Barbados event and it would have worked perfectly. It would have matched that style. It would have matched that event. It would have matched going out to a club pretty much. You know what I mean? The cool thing also I'm smelling is, is that it kind of gives me like a La Nuit de Lome without a lot of powder. It's kind of gi giving me that La Nuit de Lome-ish type of energy. Like this could be in that category in a sense, nighttime, dark, spicy, mainstream, but still like with a little bit of character to it. And I gotta admit guys, when I was smelling this last night, a lot of women liked it too. I was really, really listening to a lot of people and asking people what they thought. And a lot of women thought this smelled good, you know? I feel like this fragrance is a lot more mainstream than average Varvedo scents, which I think the which I think is the purpose of the Nick Jonas collab. It doesn't smell like a cheap money maker. It smells like thought was put into this. There's some, there's a lot of synthetic going on, but I also smell a really, really well done herbal vibe from this fragrance also. Like the cologne is there, but it works with the other aspects of the scent, I feel to really, really do a good job. I feel like this is doing a great job, guys. Typically, John Barbados fragrances don't last long, but I honestly feel like he knows his audience better than we do. And I feel like a lot of men outside of the fragrance community likes fragrances that wear comfortably, not over the top. And I'm really curious, is this gonna be like a comfortable wearing Barbados or an over the top wearing Barbados? Because he doesn't really do over the top wearing Barbados. You know what I mean? But I wonder if Nick Jonas kind of like said, come on, John. You know, let's, we don't have to like, you know, step this one up a little bit. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna like let this relax on skin and see where it's going in an hour and I'll get back to you dudes and let you know what I think. Eventually. Uh. So guys, I've been smelling this for 40 minutes. This is a very masculine fragrance, but it's done in a very fun, playful way. This is a night out scent, pretty much. This is a clubbing fragrance, for sure. This fragrance earns the lady, no doubt. Please, come on, girl. There's a soapiness to it. There's a greenness to it, an herbaceousness to it. It's creamy. This could definitely also be an alternative option for Bleu de Chanel Parfum. Like, if you really don't like that deodorant aspect of Bleu de Chanel, especially in that first hour or two, but it's done in a similar character. It's done in a similar vein. Like, I can, like, I could tell this and that Bleu de Chanel fragrance is definitely gonna be in competition. I, I've been better than you for about 10 years now. And, um, you know, it's because I have more money than you. Like I said, guys, this is the year of the darkies and <laughs> I don't mean that crazily. I just mean like honestly like there's a lot of amazing dark scents that are being released by a lot of designers now This is the era of the darkie like <laughs> Man Dark is in you know dark fragrances is the new black for sure. I Think it's a really successful collaboration. This is not your average celebrity scent at all I'm gonna really, really wear the hell out of this fragrance for the next little while and let you guys know what I think about it later on. But yeah, that's my first impressions of JVNJ by Jean Varvatos and Nick Jonas. If you're a Varvatos fan, you definitely must smell this fragrance because I feel like this is something a lot of us Varvatos fans have been wanting, you know, something a little bit more fun but still in keeping with that awesome aesthetic that we all love. So I feel like this does a great job of straddling that line. 
So guys, let me know what you think. If you smelt this fragrance, if you haven't, you gotta try it. If you're a Barbados fan, like this video if you think it deserves it. And of course, subscribe to Simply Put Sense if you haven't already. I always appreciate you dudes and I always value my subs. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm E. This is Simply Put Sense. And I'm simply O-U-T. Peace, guys.